This is a first. Naku, first pala to, Pian. Pinabahan ko yan. <laughs> Oo, po. first time na yung yung composer ay... What's up, everyone? Hope that you're all having a great day. You're back again here with me, Thea Astley, on another episode of Behind the Song, a Capuso exclusive. On today's episode, we have singer, songwriter, and former Orange and Lemons vocalist, also the writer of Pepito Manaloto. Let us all welcome Sir Makoy Fundales together with the composer of his latest single, Bakit Kita Hahabulin, Sir Kian Dionisio. Hello po! Hello! Hello po! Hello. Welcome, welcome to the show and thank you so much for saying yes to our invite. Would you like to greet our uh, our listeners and viewers ayun hello mga kapuso at sana iligtas kayong lahat saan man kayo naroon ngayon yes yeah, hello po good morning good morning mga kapuso all right syempre dun pa sa title nung song no bakit kita hahabulin striking na agad so i just want to ask straight up kung naghabol na po ba ang isang sir makoy fundales <laughs> Ah, uh, dati sa mga may utang sa akin, pero Ay, napagod oh, ko. Oo, oh, tama. So, <laughs> wag na lang. So, sa ako mga... na lang ng utang para ako naman ang hinahabol. Ay, yun pala. Sa mga gusto namang sila ang habulin, umutang kayo. Tama, <laughs> tama. Ayan. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll jump naman to a more uh, serious question for you. Sir McCoy, because we all know that you are a singer-songwriter. So, we'd like to know what made you decide na this time naman, you'll be releasing a song that was written by another composer. Uh, the first time I heard Kian's song kasi through uh, Kuya K.D. Sanchez of GMA Music. Gusto ko na talaga siya eh. Kasi it's very much my style of songwriting din. Uh, Pinoy na Pinoy yung sensibilities. May kwento. Kasi ako, I write for TV din. So as a songwriter, I try to write songs din with a story. Or may plot twist sa dulo. Or minsan nga may punchline din kahit yung mga katang sinusulat ko. So when I first heard Kian's song, alam kong style ko to. Na parang kung gagawa ko ng kanta, ganito rin eh. So sabi ko kay Kuya Kaidi Game, sige, please tell Kian na I'd be, uh, it will be an honor and a pleasure to record the song, to interpret it for him. Yeah, so naging uh, perfect fit pala. So this one naman is for Sir Kian. Well, ano po yung naging inspiration niyo when you wrote the song? Actually, ano yun eh. Uh, kausap ko yung friend ko. Uh, nag-break sila ng girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Uh, na friend ko din. Tapos, sabi ko sa kanya, bakit hindi mo kabulin? Sabi sa kanya. Mm-hmm. Sabi niya, ba't ko hahabulin? Ba't ko hahabulin? So, napaisip ako, sabi ko, kung ako yung nasa katayuan niya, dun sa fiancé ko ngayon, bakit, if ever na mangyari sa akin, ba't ko nga ba hahabulin? Ba't ano yung mga dahilan kung bakit ko hahabulin yung isang tao? Doon yun yung mga, yun yung mga stands sa nung song. Yung song na ginawa ko. Doon ko lahat mm-hmm. ilagay. Kung iisa-isa kung ba't ko dapat hahabulin yung babae nyo yun. Di ba ang ganda? These are the kind of songs that just come to you eh. Mm-hmm. Dito yung plano, Opo. hindi mo iisip na, susulat ako ngayon. Like what happened yeah. to Ian, it just came to him, eh. That's why yeah. it's a very good yeah. song. Yeah, yung yung sasabihin ko, ang galing that it just, from a simple conversation. Diba parang may mga ganun minsan sa mga movies or sa TV shows, yung parang pag hinahanap mo yung sagot, tapos meron kang kausap na biglang meron silang sinabi na line na biglang nag, nag-trigger sa, sa utak mo ng, ah, ito pala yung sagot. Parang ganun. Parang from that simple conversation, flowed na... So, Kailan huling nangyari sa iyo yan, Taya? Ay, mong... ako po yung nag-interview. <laughs> ah, okay. Sorry. Ako okay, yung nag-ask. Huwag na po lang tanungin niyo mga ganyan. <laughs> sorry, nakalimutan ko. Sorry. <laughs> Kian kasi. Sir, Kian kasi. Bakit naman kasi ganun yung song eh? Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, moving, moving forward. Ano naman, so ano po yung naging first impression ninyo when, when you first heard the lyrics of the song, Sir Makoy? Uh, when I first heard the lyrics, sabi ko, hanip to si Kian, talagang ano, he's a, he's a very talented songwriter. Kasi hindi siya ano eh, hindi siya yung typical na 
nakametro yung lyrics. Mm-hmm. Alam mo yun? Hindi siya yung sinukat ni Kian talaga na, eto yung tono eh, dapat ganito lang yung bilang ng words, nung syllables. Hindi eh. He just wrote it freely eh. So tapos, mm-hmm. pag pinakinggan mo, ramdam mo eh. Ramdam mo yung friend niya na, ito ang maghahabol sa'yo. Hindi ko hahabulin yun. Mm-hmm. Pero, tulak ng bibig ka, big ng dibdib eh. Sapul nung kanta, di ba yan? Sapul eh. Naramdaman ko din eh. Ko, bakit ba ganit? Ba't ko sinas... Wow! Oo oh, eh. Sige. Ako na nga mag- ako mag-host. So, tell ya. Gusto ko lang magkwento. <laughs> This next question naman po is for the both of you, Sir Kian and Sir Makoy. How was it uh, working with each other? Were you guys able to meet in person at at some point? Or was it all uh, online? Ayo, we Kian and I met. Siningil ko siya eh. <laughs> the first time we met, kailan ba kian? Was that the time na nag-jam tayo? Uh, spotlight, spotlight. That, that was the first time, eh. Uh-huh. Oh, we well, we were able to jam together before mm-hmm. the pandemic. Okay. Uh, he played guitars, tapos ay sang. Para lang kami nagiinom ng dalawa. Tapos yun, very, very, you know, he's a very nice guy. Uh, kung hindi nila nga nagka-pandemic, baka na gig na kami niyan. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. This one naman po is for uh, for Sir Makoy. So being in the industry for for years now, ano po yung naging greatest learning ninyo from making music in the time of the pandemic? In the time of the pandemic, well, it's um, it's I'm very fortunate kasi I I was still a, I'm still able to write for TV. Mm-hmm. I'm not uh, 100% into the music scene kasi. And I feel for my fellow musicians and live performers na affected by the pandemic. Pero I'm so glad then I find them online still doing mm-hmm. shows. No, sabi nga pag mahal mo isang bagay, if you have passion for it, you'll find a way to express it. Yeah. And I just hope na everybody gets back to normal kasi nami-miss nami-miss ko na ring manood. Mas madalas ako ngayon manood ng ng, ng gigs. Mm-hmm. Uh, bihira na akong mag-gig. Pero, sabi ko nga, if things get back to normal, I, 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 I'd be happy to do both. Yeah. Alright, well, ito naman po for for both uh, Sir McCoy and Sir Kian. Meron po ba kayong mga dream collaborations in the future? Yung sa akin kasi na- nagawa ko na. Actually, yun yung, yung istorya ng song. Uh, sinulat ko yung song uh, sa isang uh, sa isang uh, camp songwriting camp tapos after nung camp narinig ni Sir Teddy yung song ito nga yung bakit kita aabot sabi niya pwede ba namin i-record yung song sabi ko Sir Teddy okay lang naman sana kaso hindi ko po hindi papakanta sa iba yung song kung hindi rin sa gusto kong artist mm-hmm. so sabi niya ay sino ba yung gusto mong artist sabi ko Sir sana yung ano yung uh, yung sa Orson Lemos yung uh, dat- dating uh, vocalist ng Orson Lemos sabi niya, ano ba pangalan mo? Sabi niya, Makoy Fundales ko. Ah, Makoy Fundales. O sige, balik ka kita kaya niya. Sabi ko, o sige po. Tapos, nagulat na lang ako. Na, nagulat din siya, nakakilala niya na si Makoy. Hindi niya alam. Na, <laughs> nakalimutan, ito, nakalimutan ni Kuya kaya hindi nakilala niya ako. <laughs> <laughs> kasi nung, nung, nung ginagawa ko kasi yung song, talagang si Sir Makoy na yung nasa utak ko nakakanta. Oh, Kahit nung paano ko siya kinanta, Paano ko siya ginagawa? Ginagamit ko na yung boses kay Sir Makoy. Kung paano niya kantahin yung song. So, talagang hindi ko akalain na na mangyayari. Na itong collaboration pa mangyayari sa sa buhay ko. Kaya, ito nangyari na actually. Ito na yun. Mm-hmm. Pero they should hear your version too. Ang ganda pag si, pag si Kian yung kumakanta din. Siyempre, when the songwriter sings it, iba rin yung iba uh-huh. rin yung kating. But ikaw so, matagal, na na crush, matagal na akong crush niya, si Kian, hindi lang niya. Uy! <laughs> yun pala. Alam din ang niya. 2003 pa. <laughs> <laughs> Pero ang interesting <laughs> nun na, eh. ang interesting na, nung sinasulat na pala ni Sir Kian, you already had uh, you, Sir McCoy, in, in mind. So, ang galing yeah, yun. Yeah, may mga songwriters na ganun eh. Mm-hmm. Uh, pag nagsusulat kami, Tama si Kian eh. Minsan may, may maririnig ka na na parang, parang gusto kong gumawa ng kanta na ganito ang ano ba? Ganito ah, for mm-hmm. this singer. I mean, it's it's wishful thinking na sa or inaasahan mo na sana kantahin ito ni Thea. For example, mm-hmm. if I write a song and I imagine you singing it, pwede malaking bagay yun. 
mm-hmm. easier for us to put down the melodies okay. and the mood of the song. Mm-hmm. Well, ikaw naman, Sir McCoy, any dream collaborations in the future? Bukot sa'yo? Uy! Game to tayo Lahat yan. ng uh, magagaling na <laughs> Lahat ng magagaling na GMA artist sa All Out Sundays. Oy. Every Sunday noon, mga kapuso. Yes. All Out Sunday. <laughs> well, sana po magkatotoo yan. Hopefully, we'll, we are putting it out into the universe. But before we end, baka po makahingi kami ng konting sample ng Bakit Kita Hahabulin, Sir Makoy. At baka pwede rin magpasample nga ang ating songwriter, Sir Kian. <laughs> Tama. Actually, ano, simulan ko, Kian, pero dalin mo sa chorus, ha, nang marinig na live version. All right. This is a first. Akapela to, first. Naku, first pala to, Kian. Oh, oh. first time na yung yung uh, yung composer ay magpapasample din. <laughs> Exciting. Okay, All right. Take it away, Sir Makoy. Pa kita hapulin. Kapag nilisan bay mawawala ng lahat sa akin. Ganun ka ba kay special? Na kapag na wala ka, di ako tatagal. Take it away, Kia. Sir, sa chorus na lang ako. Sige. <laughs> sa chorus na lang. Hangan ko ba nang sa akin ay kikising Kapag ang noob ko ay nahihimbing Kailangan ko ba nang yung birot patawa Kapag inaanod ng luha Bakit ako manginayang Sa isang kagaya mo Ano yung ibig sa'n dyan? Meron ka na wala ang iba Ba't ako sa'yo magmamakaan? Ano bang meron ka, Thea? Uy, ano nga bang meron ka kasi? Ako <laughs> ewan ko. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sir Makoy and Thank Sir you. Kian. Again, maraming maraming salamat sa lahat ng mga nakitune in sa ating episode for today. And guys, please do have a listen to Bakit Kita Hahabulin out on all platforms music streaming platforms now. Kahit mer- kung kayo man yung hinahabol o kayo yung naghahabol, I'm sure it will touch your hearts. Oo. <laughs> I hope that uh, you're all doing well. Hope that you're all staying safe and healthy. Thank you so much again for listening to our episode today. Once again, this has been Thea Astley. Hope to see you all again next week only here on Behind the Song, a Kapuso Exclusive.